Sorry, that was slow motion. Uh, today I'm going to talk about this pen, which is a funky chicken. I, I really, that's the only way I can describe it. This is the Pilot Plumix. I'm not sure whether I'm supposed to say Plumix or Plumi or some other French uh, pronunciation, but this is a funny little pen. I bought this at the Goulet Pen Company uh, because I ordered something else and I thought, well, you know, let's Throw in this one. I think someone asked me about this at some point, maybe even a few people. In any case, it's not that expensive. It cost me nine dollars, uh, and then you get this. And this is actually a pretty interesting pen. First of all, it's pretty big. Uh, I, this is like the most terrible thing I could do, but this is a, a ballpoint pen, now you all know, and you see this actually not that small. Um, here we have a, a Platinum Plaisir, and again, it's not that small. So it's it's a pretty big pen. And what you should realize is that the cap here is really small. I'll come back to that in a second. In any case, take a look at the overall shape. I kind of like it. You have this tapering here. You have some tapering there. I think it looks nicely balanced and, you know, pretty original. The shape is original. Okay, I'll cover the parts of the pen and tell you what I like about it, what I don't like about it. Do a writing sample and that's pretty much it. Okay, so, let's start with the cap. Well, this is the cap this. It's really small. You see that? Um, and it looks a bit like an arrowhead or something. Maybe it's just me, but I thought it looked like either that or some type of, of ballistic missile. Um, it's, it's tapered, it's smooth plastic, everything here is plastic apart from the nib, so uh, it's, it's, it's interesting to use, and because of these little fins, it's actually easy to unscrew it. You actually have a nice grip. Uh, when you when you hold it like that, um, let's let's unscrew it for a second. It is a screw-on nib, so you will not accidentally uh, pull it off. Then you have the grip section. Now, when you hold it, you can already see it's it's actually a fairly large pen. It's not huge, but it's it's fairly large. The nib, to my surprise, I got the uh, the medium nib, and it is an italic. It's not a round nib, it's an italic. Now, we, we know, you know, if you've seen my review of the, the Pilot 78G, that I got that in broad, and that was an italic nib, too. Uh, I don't know whether that's a typical Pilot thing, because I remember my, um, uh, what's it called, the Prera Iro I, and that has a medium nib, and that is, is it medium or is it fine? No, I thought that was medium. In any case, that is just a round nib. It's it's not an italic like this. So for those of you unfamiliar with that, italic just means that it is flat. So it's not you don't have these round balls at the end. It's just completely and utterly flat, which gives you a bit of line variation, which is actually nice. And then I thought, because of this overall shape, perhaps this was meant to be a calligraphy pen of some kind, because a lot of these calligraphy pens have this type of shape. Um, and you know, maybe. In any case, let, let me go on with, with covering the parts of the pen. So on the cap it says, Pilot, Super Quality, Japan, Medium. Actually it just says M between these uh, types of uh, brackets. Um, the feed is the feed I, I kind of know from some other pens. It's pretty flat uh, and it has these nice little uh, lines running across it, which I, I actually I kind of like the design of that feed. As far as feed design matters to anyone, I think this is pretty nice. Now you have the grip section, and this is very difficult to show you with this camera because when I put the pen, you know, close up, it will not focus uh, on the pen. Um, but you know, did it just refocus? No, I don't think so. In any case, uh, it's you can see. I'm sorry, it's out of focus. But if I do it here, you, you really can't see anyway. I think. Which you only want to, to, to understand the shape. So it's it's kind of rounded off here, a bit like a bridge. And then there are facets on top of that, which are used for your thumb and your index finger. And then your middle finger sort of curls up under that bridge, and this is insanely comfortable to hold. I really like that. Now, it's not covered with rubber, it's hard plastic, so I actually think that after writing for an extended period, this will be uncomfortable. 
But for you know, normal writing and not writing huge letters, I think it's very comfortable. Okay, it's clear, so you can actually see the converter, or in this case, cartridge that's in there. And then you have the barrel. Now, the barrel has some interesting features too. It has a bit of a bulbous thing there. Uh, it's fairly straight there, and of course, it's very tapered, uh, which I also enjoy. Now, the bottom here has these grooves. I'm not sure how well you can see that, but I think you can at least see from the light reflection that there's something going on there. And these are actually nice to hold, because you, you hold it like this, and then these this sort of bulbous thing, for me, it, it, it's right at, at this point, so it's, it's sort of against my thumb. And again, I think that is very comfortable. So, some work went into this, and it works out. It's a really nice pen to hold. And I can imagine that, for example, children, of course, they have smaller hands, um, but the children might, might actually like this. And if they're learning how to write, this could be very comfortable for them. I'm not sure, haven't tried it, but I think that could be the case. And I am a developmental psychologist. <laughs> so, um, you know, I, I think it would be interesting to, to try out. Okay, on the barrel it also says Pilot Plumix. Again, a Plumix is written in a nice, well, I guess it's it's not copper plate, but some type of nice uh, uh, rounded script, uh, which again suggests to me that there may be some calligraphy purposes intended for this pen. Okay, so I'll open it up, and you get the cartridge. I'll be very careful to take this out, because these pilot cartridges, yeah, there's a big drop of ink there, just what I expected, have these huge gaping openings. It's huge. Um, and that's not that much to see there. So, now, <clears throat> this is all plastic. This is all plastic. Ta doom Eyedropper. Uh, I actually am considering to turn this into an eyedropper to give that a try. But it came with a cartridge. I just thought, well, let's just push it in. And I'm glad I did, because it is a pilot cartridge, as I, I just showed you the, the large opening, which is proprietary to pilot. Uh, this is a really nice blue. Uh, these pens come in a bunch of colors. I got the blue one, and this I really like. It's it's a nice light blue, very legible, uh, fresh and sparkly. I liked it, so I'm glad I did. But since it is all plastic, it is closed. There are no holes in there, um, and this the threads on this section are fairly long. I think I'll just put in some ink, put on some silicon grease, and you're done. So that would be very cool. And then you have a large amount of ink. So that's it. That's the parts of the pens now. Pen. That's only one. Um, what do I like about it? What do I not like about it? Well, I guess you've uh, realized that I'm quite enthusiastic about it. Uh, I like the shape. I like the nib. The nib is smooth. It's it's pretty smooth nib. Um, it's although it's an italic, I don't think that the, the the corners are actually so sharp that they will cut into the paper, which is nice. I mean, it's not nice that they do, but it doesn't. So that is nice. Um, I like it. There are also some things I don't like. Um, I didn't know this was going to be an italic nib. I could have researched that, and I actually thought it was a pleasant surprise, but if you are looking for a standard round nib, then this may not be what you're looking for. Um, but you know now. Another thing I don't like, and that's something that's, that's not really bothering me, but that is an issue, is when I grab it, I just unscrew it to you know open up the cap, but then you just unscrew the barrel. Because this cap is so small, you really have to unscrew the cap itself. And that's, I mean, really, I mean, look at this. It's a really small cap. And, you know, out of habit, I just grab a pen around the this this bit, so this is the, the section bit, and I unscrew it. But you'll just take off the barrel. So this is not a huge issue, obviously, but it's something that, you know, I for me, that, that took some getting used to. I'm not that stupid, so by now I've you know I've figured it out. <laughs> but still, it's it's uh, you know something to bear in mind. Apart from that, I like the pen. I think it's funny. It's it's nine dollars for nine dollars having such a deal, such a nice smooth nib. I'm guessing eyedropper capacity or capabilities, I should say, uh, a nice uh, ergonomic uh, grip section. I really like it. So, that's more than enough talk. I'm sorry for keeping you so long. I'll just uh, do a writing sample, and that's all there's to it. So, I hope this was useful, and um, I'll see you later. Bye-bye! <coughs> okay, writing with the Pilot Plumix.
This is the medium nib, <clears throat> and the ink is a, uh, a proprietary cartridge uh, by Pilot. So this is Pilot Blue, I'm, I'm guessing. Um, Now, what may be apparent to you, <coughs> excuse me, uh, is the the shape of the nib. I'm not applying more pressure as I go down, so as you can see, there is a very marked line variation, um, and that's because it is an italic nib. It's it's quite simply, it's uh, you you may be able to see it. It's not rounded off as are most nibs. Uh, this is not a good example, actually. Um, here we got one. So this would be a regular nib, and that is rounded off. And this is much flatter. So it's it's an italic nib, and that gives you this line variation, which is fairly interesting, I think. Um, so you can exploit that a little in your writing. and get a type of writing that is almost like flex writing, right? Where you get these nice variations in your line as having, you know, you have broader and finer lines. Also, it's very easy to lay down a lot of ink very quickly because of the shape of this nib. It reminds me of the Pilot 78G nib, which is also uh, quite italic. This one is just a little narrower. Okay, now, as to line variation, so as I said, I mean, this is just applying more pressure. You'll definitely get line variation because of that, but also you have the shape of the nib. So this is just a lot of pressure. I'm writing very ugly here just to, to try and maximize line variation. Um, so that's what you will get. Um, let's do some fast writing. So as you can see, the feed of the pen keeps up fairly well with the writing. I'm not being legible here, just being fast. And that works pretty well. So it has a, a good feed. So there you have it. You have the line variation, uh, you have the regular writing, uh, you have a lot of stuff here. Uh, I, I like this pen. It's typical. It's somewhat strange um, because of the, the shape of the nib. I'm doing my best here, but you could uh, use it for some small font calligraphy. Um, so it's an interesting and, and, and versatile pen. And I like it. And that's all there's to it. So, I hope this review was useful. If you're looking for a, a funky little pen that's, that's you know, gives you some, some different ways to use it, then I think this is a very suitable pen. I thank you for watching, and um, I'll see you later. Bye-bye!